What's up everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and today we will learn how to set up Zoom call integration in the Jet Appointment plugin. This new feature is available within Jet Appointment 2.0 or higher versions. And of course, the first thing we need to do is to activate this option in the dashboard. So, go to Appointments, Settings and open Integrations tab. Toggle Zoom option on and fill out corresponding fields. In order to obtain all this information, click on the Create a Server-to-Server -Server Auth app. Here you will see a detailed guide on how this process is done. So click on the My Apps button to start creating the app. Go to Develop, Build App and select Server-to-Server -Server Auth. Give it a name first and click Create. Over here, we see the app credentials right away, but we still have to customize it a little bit. So click Continue to fill out the basic and developer contact information. Click Continue one more time to get to the scopes part. So here we need to add scopes to define what information and capabilities will be allowed for further use. Here we can select all scopes available and click Done. And finally, let's activate the app for current Zoom account. Now we can open the App Credentials tab one more time to copy and paste account ID Client ID and Client Secret. Good. Right now, let's click on the Auth button to get the access token, and we are ready to move to the next step. Let's follow two workflows and toggle Activate option on. First, let's select the event that will trigger this workflow to run. Appointment created. The start of the workflow will stay the same immediately. And right now we are ready to add a new action. So action type will be create Zoom meeting. For meeting agenda, we'll add the service title macro and set the password length to 10. OK, now let's add another action for the call confirmation that will be sent to the service provider, which is doctor. So give it a name, confirm Zoom call, action stays the same, send email. In the email too, select provider meta field and type in the meta field name. If you're not sure that you remember it correctly, you can go to your custom post types for providers, open any post type you like, and find the email meta field name there. OK, now let's set the email subject, Zoom call confirmation, fill out the send from email field and send from name field too, then add cancel appointment and confirm appointment URLs to the email message. And proceed with adding another action. This one will notify the client that his Zoom call is now pending for approval from the doctor. So action name, user notification, action type stays the same, Email to select appointment user email macro, set email subject, Zoom call, fill out the send from email field and then fill out the send from name field and customize the email message. Wait for Zoom call approval. Good. Now let's add another workflow item to define the next set of actions to be accomplished when the appointment status is changed. So event appointment status changed, new status completed, start immediately. OK, let's add a new action to inform the client of the Zoom call URL and password data. Action name client email 
action type send email, email to appointment user email macro, email subject zoom call and add a service title macro to it, fill out the send from email field, after that select provider title in the send from name field and again customize the email message. Add Zoom meeting join URL for user and Zoom meeting password macros. And don't forget to clarify a little bit of what is what. Good. Now we are ready to go for another action. This one will send an email with Zoom call join details to the doctor. So action name, doctor email, action type, send email, email to choose provider meta field from the list and enter the email meta field name, email subject, zoom call, and choose service title from the macro list, fill out the sent from email and sent from name fields, and last but not the least, add zoom meeting start URL for admin and clarify what this link states for in the email message. Okay, and we're finally done with setting up the workflow actions and we can now proceed to the doctor's page on the front end and try to create an appointment. So let's select the service, as well as the date and time that fits us the best, fill out our contact details and hit confirm button. Okay. The form has been successfully submitted, and we can see that new letters are waiting for us in the inbox. So here's the inbox of the doctor with an email message to confirm the new Zoom call scheduled. And over here is the inbox of our client. So never mind this email, this is just a confirmation that the form was successfully submitted and the application is scheduled. I'll just delete it, but over here is the email from the admin notifying us that we need to wait for the Zoom call approval. So right now, let's confirm the Zoom meeting appointment, but before that, let's check the appointment status in the dashboard. So open appointments, and there we go. The status is pending as of now. So right now, let's click on Confirm Zoom Call link. Good, appointment is confirmed. And let's check the appointments page one more time. There we go. Now the status of this appointment is completed. And a couple of other new messages were just sent to the client's and doctor's emails. So here's the client's inbox with Zoom meeting join information. And over here is the doctor's inbox with a link to start a Zoom call. And once we click on it, it will redirect us to a launch meeting page. So guys, this is it for today. Amazing feature that requires a little bit of customization. Let me know what you think about it right in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if it was useful. Have a lovely day and stand with Ukraine.